Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a short segment on beautiful spring blossoms. Yes, the season has finally arrived and the market is full. We've got anemones, early scabiosa, ranunculus, muscari, so many wonderful things and just a little bit fragile. But with some simple tricks and techniques, they're oh so easy to use in your floral designs. To show off the fragile blossoms, I'm going to do components, three different blue cubes. And for mechanics, I'll be working with an armature of the blue aluminum wire. To do that, you just need to take off a segment of the wire, pulling it and cutting it free. Then grasping the two ends in your hand, just reach in and twist each one a little bit, giving it a squiggle. And then once you've got it all squiggled around a bit, manipulate it so it just sets right down into the cube. You can go back, give it another squiggle. And it can come out over the top or be tucked all on the inside works well either way. And once you have it in place, just go back and add water. The armatures will support the blooms, but visually you need a little bit of substance in here, a nest, to give your eye a resting point. I like to use Dusty Miller. I'm just cutting it down. That soft gray color is fabulous. And then sliding it right into the armature. You can see it fills in, breaks the line of the container. And go back and use the other end of the stem, letting it come outward and repeating that. Even using individual leaflets and cleaning it up, giving it a cut and setting it in place. And balancing each of the cubes a little bit in all directions. And all I'm doing is radiating out from a central binding point, placing it down into the armature, then going back, maybe a little bit of wax flower. That too is sturdy and substantial, very long lasting. So it gives a great base for the softer, more fragile blooms. Again, just breaking it down, stripping off the little needle-like leaves and then setting it down into the armature. As I move on to the blooms, I look at the shorter stems first. And some of the muscari were quite a bit shorter than the other flowers. So I'm going to start with those, clustering them in my hands, bundles of three to five, giving it a cut, and then sliding them in together. And using them shorter like this creates a little bit of basing. Giving them a cut, sliding it in, and by clustering them makes them all a little more important because their heads are actually so tiny and delicate. You want to just group them so that they begin to show. Scattering them between the three cubes pulling the blue from the vase upwards into the design. You can see they just start adding that little delicate touch throughout. Coming out to the front. And they anchor right in place with the armature because it's locking them. Then once I get some base materials, going back with the little ones that are longer. So like the anemone, letting it come out above and a ranuncula. It has beautiful buds and I can cut it so that I use the bud, letting it come out, and the other bud, and the bloom as well. And I can use some of the taller muscari coming out. You can see everything just locks into place each stem settling in, the armature locking it, not forgetting the buds. The buds are so fabulous, you don't want to leave those out. 
be another of the anemone. And then even a little bit of the scabiosa, cutting it down and just sliding it in. To finish the designs, I like to take a few more of the larger, heavier blooms and cut them short and tuck them down very deep and then bringing in a little bit more of the taller muscari and letting it come out above to bring that blue upwards. And then as I'm working, I look at each cube and I make sure that it looks good on all sides because you never know as they get moved around, is this one going to turn this way? Where is this one going to turn this way? Are they going to be on opposite sides? Will they be all by themselves? Sometimes I design things in triplicate like this, thinking that I'll be selling them as a component all together, and then someone will come in and say, oh, I want just one. And you want to make sure that just one is equally as beautiful as all three together. So as I work, I just kind of Look around and say, well, that one moved a bit. Let's move him over here. Now he looks good from all sides. Bringing it over on this side. And then coming back again with a little larger bloom down towards the front and adding the bud. Maybe one more of the lovely anemones. They're so gorgeous. Tucking it on this side. And out to the front on this one, turning it a little bit. Then as I work, I think about the fleeting beauty of spring blossoms. They're actually a short-lived flower. So the base materials, the wax flower and the dusty miller, that's going to last quite well. But the upper blooms, not quite as long. So I like to give the recipient something to remember it by, something that's going to last a long time. A little loamy gem, just cutting it off. What, just a tiny bit of wire, a little bit of glue. Using the Oasis Floral Adhesive Cold Glue and then setting it right down into the bloom. That way as the flowers fade, they can pick the gem off and save it along with the vase and remember the beautiful spring blossoms. Spring blooms are shorter lived. You may only get three to five days, but by using fresh water with flower food, and then once they're designed, spraying them down with crowning glory to lock the moisture in, you can give them as long a life as possible. Doesn't take a lot of effort, but it makes a big difference. Instead of two days, you might get four days, doubling the lifespan of these beautiful flowers. Now it's your turn. If you'd like more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you need care and handling information, many of these blooms are listed in the flower library so you can see exactly how to take care of them. If you've got questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can reach me through the website at flowerschool.com or by telephone at 1-800-819-8089. If it's easier, go ahead and use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E at floraldesigninstitute.com. So now it's your turn. Happy springtime. Have fun and do something you love.